What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 video. We're back at it again. This time as I uh, will go surplus logistics. We're back at it with Byzantium in Civ 6 Deity, Pangea map, all that good stuff. Now before we continue, let's just give a quick recap of what happened last video. Last video we completely eliminated Molly from the game, made him cry a little bit. After we started crying because, uh, oh thank god, we started crying because uh, the loyalty was just insane, but the clutch heroic age saved us, and then the Ottomans joined an emergency against us, and it attack Singapore, but we came in with the cavalry units like the winged Tazars, and we all know how Ottomans do against a Christian cavalry force, don't we? We go, we went ahead, defeated Sing or defended Singapore, and our military is looking pretty damn good. Nippur is dying in a few turns. What we're going to do now in all these cities, once this grows to 10 population, I'm actually going to go ahead and get our Hippodromes. I completely forgot we get free cavalry units from them, but uh, yeah, we're just going to hit next turn right now. We're going to heal up these guys a little bit, and then we're going to move on these cities. How many uh, holy cities do I have converted? right now that's the question because i think i i don't know how we everyone has there's only two religions in the game oh no we're not going to make use of our ability then for those of you who don't know our ability is three combat strength for every uh holy city we've converted including our own so that's going to suck a little bit but i mean it just is what it is at that point let's go ahead and give this to us and uh, yeah we're just going to be losing all the diplo favor anyway and uh this can just okay what luxury do i have because that's what it's going to be let's go I, I i don't really care let's do that we'll at the very least get one trade route that's good Good. We have 10 population, and I'm immediately actually going to go for my Hippodrome, not because I need it, but because the free cavalry unit is just amazing. Uh, we're going to actually, what city do we go for? I don't think we go for Uruk because it's not converted to our religion. I think I'm going to actually end up going for Iridu when I can. That's not good. That's not good. I don't know how they still have intel on my movements. Very confused about that, but they do. They do. Okay, how much population is this city? That's five, but they're losing loyalty. So we're just going to ignore that city, I think. Uh, we can always put a governor in Nippur, and I think that's the best idea. We'll put in this guy. You could go right in Nippur, just snuggle in right there, and we could go a little slower. Now, if he does attack me with his Janissary, I could. That's a problem. That's a pro Okay, he's actually out, still at war with the... Uh, Rook, right? He's still at war with these guys? No, he's not. Okay, then that's, uh, that's... It's not really the best. I think I'm just gonna back out a little bit, and I think the goal right now is to just let him attack himself on that city. Here now, we should be able to destroy the walls fairly quickly, so what I'm gonna do now... You can move. You don't do a lot of damage to the walls, huh? What about you? We don't do damage to the walls... Well, that sucks. And then production-wise here, we'll get ourselves like an armory or something. And then we do need some more trade routes, I think. So let's go for the most gold, I think. Valletta, that's fine. If we can get Suzerainty of a Cod, that might be a little helpful. But let's go libraries everywhere. You're going to go for a market, and then you can actually move down south as... You know what? Uma's like 50, 50 strength. There's no reason for me not to go for Uma, I don't think. Yeah, we, we, we do well against Uma. Uh, you're going to stay in the city. This, guy, this guy's just going to die. Uh, you're actually going to promote right now. We'll give you Barding. And then, yeah, the Catapult isn't going to do a lot, I don't think. I'm really more worried about the Janissaries right now. Let's go Universities. Here you could go a Granary or something. This city, it doesn't matter what we do in this city, quite honestly. Let's hit next turn. I'll use these two to take out Uma. Uh, you're going to just kill yourself. That's fine. More Eastern Orthodoxy for me. Another city's been converted. Wow. Okay, then you're all just going to back out. We cannot deal with that guy. But uh, you're going to move in there. The only reason I'm not moving in this Courser is because we need him to give more combat strength to the city these two should be more than enough to take the city of uma though i think um cool you're gonna go there and fortify you're gonna go there and give like a flanking bonus or whatever and then you're gonna go get the fishies let's hit next turn. we're almost towards another golden age wow we have plenty of time too all right then that's okay and this guy's just going to get attacked once for some reason but you could go double envelopment and then i think you could come there and then there and then you go there and then i don't think i'm going to attack yet he does have the, uh, can I get a spy, actually? Because I need to counteract his, uh, bonus. He has the bonus right now, whatever it's called, the, uh, I think this gives me a spy. Yes, he gets the, uh, plus three combat strength, I think. Yeah, intel on opponent's movements, and I lose two combat strength, so it's gonna be a little difficult to deal with these guys who have more base combat strength than my best unit. So I think here, if we could attack, okay, you'd live through that. And, uh, you could kill the catapult. That's really... Okay, you're gonna kill the catapult, and then you should be able to live through this guy. Yes. And then you can go attack him. If you pillage that, that gives me gold. I think that is kind of what I need right now. So attack that. Attack the city of Uma. Uma should be easy to kill. Uh, and then over here, we'll get a fishies tile. Nice. Let's hit next turn. They're gonna continue attacking this city. Wow, they do a lot of damage to the city. Is the emergency for Quiche? It is for Quiche, isn't it? 
not a lot I can do here. You're going to have to back out there. Um, you're going to go in the city and fortify. You're going to fortify. Uh, you guys did all that. That's fine. Can we actually go ahead and... Uh, Okay, we would, but in all these cities that I can, I'm going to try to get population so I can build a hippodrome. You got one in that city already, so that does kind of suck. But you're going to move in through there, and then you're going to go for charge, I think. You're going to fortify as well, and then you're just going to go and get me a farm. The problem is, right now, even with the Crusade Belief, we're not going to be able to do a lot of damage to that city. Now, the Ottomans don't have a lot of combat strength, so that is pretty good. We do get another Togma, though. That's fine. Go get a Temple right there, and then here you're going to get a Granary, I think. Yes. So, our military still hasn't been neutered at all, so we're going to be fine, I think. We're going to go for a Domination Victory. I don't know about that. Uh, we're definitely going to try to take out these. If we could just get a China in on the war. If we could get China in on the Ottomans, I feel like that'd be really, really helpful. But I think for now, we're just going to fortify a little bit, and then we're going to move on Iridu. Man, where are they on the tech tree? This is just so, like... They're not even that far ahead. God damn, so how the hell do they have so much combat strength? Like, we can't even do a lot of damage to these guys. It's insane. Alright, then you're going to do that, though. So no war crimes, not... As many war crimes as I would like this game. If you're going to go for a traitor, and after this, you're actually going to go get the spy, I think. Eight turns is fine. Envoy wise, for Suzerain of Akkad, that's fine. Let's go for Geneva. Oh, no, Geneva's in the game. We have to get him on our side quick before we get called for crimes against humanity. Uh, science wise, Korea is just so far ahead right now. It's insane. Let's keep going. I can always buy a boat for like two era scores, so I'm really not worried about the golden age right now. We do have plenty of time as well to get that, and I think we might even be able to get a great person. We'd be able to faith by this one. I don't think that's the best idea for now, though. Let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, actually, what I'm going to do now, because you have the temple, right? Let's faith by two apostles. And then what's our religion again? We'd be able to get the uh, science religion, I think. Okay, that's good. And then here now, you're just going to get a water mill, I think. There's nothing else for you to build. You can get a hippodrome in the city of Kanye. That's great. It's a free cavalry unit. I might wait, actually, because, yeah, we're going to get military science. And then cavalry have how much? 62 combat strength that's a pretty big advantage right so yeah 62 versus 4 that's a massive advantage holy crap so yeah, evangelize belief evangelize belief choose beliefs now we're gonna go for uh cross-culture dialogue i think let's see how much science we get and then for the second one we're just going to go for gerdurwas could be really nice i think i think we're gonna go for gerdurwas for food let's see one yeah that's a lot of science we just scanned but let's hit next turn good uh, they don't have a religion, so having these guys converted is probably the best idea. Let's faith by a... Not yet, not yet. Not yet, Ferb. Let's do that. And then, okay, there we go. We actually have 130 uh, era score. So we're going to be in another golden age. It's really, really nice for us. Uma's losing loyalty, but it's fine. 55 turns. Uh, get a university, I guess. We'll keep going. Uh, I want to wait till I get cavalry and then upgrade everybody. I think I still have that policy as well, right? 50% cheaper upgrade cost. Yes. Uh, nothing else we could really make use of, I don't think. Man, if we could just get a great general right now, that would be helpful. How much do I need? Okay, maybe if I could just go... Okay, you have an encampment, so just go encampment training right now. And then you don't have one, just get me a trader then. You're going to go and go to Valletta because of money. And then you're going to go and get... We're not going to wait, we're just going to start the war immediately. But, uh, I do want to get a great general for later on. So you're going to do that. You're going to do that. We have plenty of these guys to upgrade, and Togma's give a great general bonus. You can piss off. I'm about to declare war on you and eliminate you again. Uh, we have more than enough money to upgrade everybody. In fact, you might even be able to buy another uh, cavalry unit. And then, yeah, we do full damage to city walls, so I'm not worried about this guy. There it is, Industrial Era Golden Age. Absolutely revolting the amount of damage you're going to be doing. Uh, there's 160 era score, and then dedication-wise, everyone else is in a normal age. So let's go ahead and go reform the coinage, I think. Yeah, I really don't need the Heartbeat of Steam one. Good, and then how much do you cost to upgrade? 135, that's extremely, extremely cheap. How much damage do you do? You still do no damage? I feel like that's bull. I feel like if we move next to the city, we do a lot more. There's no way. Yeah, there's absolutely no way that yeah, it's that's that's just bull crap right there. Uh, you're going to fortify, fortify. You're going to move in through there, do that, perfect. And then I think next turn we declare the war, because yeah, everybody can move in at the same time. And then we'll move for Urdu, Uruk, and even if they start an emergency, I'm so strong right now, it's insane. Uh, let's go for a workshop. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to send this guy actually to um. A rook? I can't wait, actually. You know what? In that case, I'm actually going to cancel the spy, and I'm going to... Oh, nope, he's already gone. All right, then. Well, that sucks. But uh, in any case, we're just going to send that spy to... Uh, you're going to do this. It's going to be health. It gives me gold. That's good enough. I should actually start pillaging a lot more. These yields are insane. Uh, pillage for some money. Again, I do like being rich. Uh, you're going to attack, and we definitely take the city this turn. I think you get a promotion. 
There we go. This city's like... Okay, we'd definitely be able to keep this city. Yeah, we move in like somebody like uh, Magnus probably. What about this city now? 29, that's fine. We're taking a rook very, very soon, I think. Everybody else can just stay fortified. A rook's going to be a little more difficult to take, but I think I'm actually going to wait. What, what's after metal casting? Please don't. If they, if, oh my god, that would be bad. Let's see. It passed. Uh, who is it? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. I thought it said it passed. Oh, it's the aid request. That's just money. I thought it was like everybody declare war on this guy. I don't think they declare war on me either way, though. Because think about it, right? How much... Okay, I actually have more than enough of that. How much... Um, shit, like, look at my military strength. Who'd declare war on me? I'm stronger than everyone. So they'd be like, nah, gee, I'm good. I want to live. We get ballistics very soon, though. Five turns. Two forts in your territory. I think I'm just going to wait the five turns. In fact, the governor's going to be in a rook anyways. Maybe just keep him there? Hmm... Because, like, over here, I don't think we do... Yeah, we don't do a lot. We have to wait for the Great General as well. I think that is probably what we would have to do at this point. Uh, you're going to go ahead and get me probably just... Wow, you actually suck. You absolutely... You're, I haven't been able to build up anybody. I think that gave me 100 Great People points. So, 2,600 and I'm making 4 per turn. Uh, you're dying in 15 turns. You get the encampment training. How much does that give me? Uh, okay, how much am I right now? Okay, I should be able to get that Great General if I just do Encampment Training. In fact, I'm actually going to get two more Great General points per turn. Yes, we're going to sacrifice some money for that, but that's okay. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go for bare money right now, and then I'm going to see if I could trade Iron. No, what if I could trade Niter? Nobody, okay then. Let's uh, just keep fortified. I want to wait for the Togmas. That's what I really want to do, because Corsair's 64 combat strength is more than enough, I think, and I don't think... I don't know. I really don't know. Would I be able to take uh, the city of a rook? Hmm. Feet. That's okay. The rest of you are just going to skip, I think, for now. You're going to be able to pillage that for health. Uh, you're going to move in as well and uh, do that. We'll hit next turn. We just had a great general. Okay, then they really don't do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Five and four. Holy crap. Barding is just insanely broken. Uh, okay, this guy right here is actually going to transfer to whatever the Ottoman cities have. Ankara, maybe? No, no, no. That's going to be the first city we take out. I want you to travel to Z. No. Maybe Adana? I think Adana is really the only city we could go for at this point. And then research-wise, we're going to go ahead and go for banking, I think. All right, here now. Let's be smart. Let's be smart here. Uh, that's actually a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. You can attack for sure. Can you pillage? You could pillage for faith, and I think that's what we're going to have to do so we can get a great general. All right, cool. You're going to pillage for money and then attack. And then you're going to pillage for money. Then I think you're going to switch with him, and then you pillage attack next turn, and then you attack... And then you're going to... Ooh, you know what? Pillage that for faith. And then I... I screw it! I'm going to attack with you. They don't do a lot of damage to me anyways. I think I should be fine. Uh, here now, you're just going to get me a builder. Really nothing else for you to do. You're going to get, uh, I don't know, a water mill. That's fine. Trader-wise, we'll go to Valletta or something. That's cool. We'll hit next turn. How much damage do they do? Ah, uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. They've brought in the heavy, heavy artillery. Uh, let's do that. Now we just have to take the city, though. So, yeah, you're going to have to back out. I'll back you out to Nippur. Uh, you're going to... Okay, you're going to move there. You're going to move there. Move up there. Attack the city. It's still surrounded, and I do want to keep it surrounded. We actually do well. Oh, yes, because we have Crusade. Crusade doesn't work against... Wait, it does work against cities. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Uh, so you're just going to pillage, attack, and then I think the city... If we attack with these guys, cities, the city definitely dies next turn. Okay, you pillage some science, there's banking now, and then I'm actually going to just promote you to barding so you stay alive, and then we definitely take their capital city next turn. And then here comes the Corsairs, very good, and then great general time. I'm definitely putting on a clinic right now. Let's hit next turn, suck in those butt cheeks because these guys... Okay, we lost one Togma. That's actually not that bad. We do not get the city surrounded. That's okay. Uh, you can pillage and attack, so we'll do that for sure. You can pillage and attack. We'll at least pillage. You're going to be able to attack. You're going to be able to attack. I want to be able to finish it off with you, though. Uh, I'll promote you right now to route. Then you'd attack, and you take the city. Yes, you can. Perfect. All right, there's a rook now. Uh, we could kill that guy. I think I'm just going to back out and prepare to upgrade some of these guys. Ooh, the problem right now is, though, we don't get the Crusade Belief. You do have the flanking bonus. Hmm. 
Hmm, we don't get Crusade because we took the city. Uh, let's go Gerdurwa, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you're going to move up there. Fill a policy slot militarily. Let's go retain. Conscription, I think. We got to get some... Ah, uh, you know what? We have more than enough. Let's go retainers. Good. And then this guy needs orders here. You're just going to fortify. Let's hit next turn. Let's hope nobody dies. He's going to... Okay, that's attacking across the river. What are you doing, dog? Come on now. Okay, that is actually a core. Wait, can I get cores yet? I feel like I can get cores right now. Okay, let's try to make this me. If they make me negative uh, loyalty, that would suck. Let's see. I'm in a golden age, though. Okay, it doesn't matter. That's okay. All right, nationalism allows me to form cores right there. So everybody here is going to fortify. You're going to move there and upgrade. You're going to move there and upgrade. You're going to move there and upgrade. And then even though this guy's a core, he should be dead in the next few turns. Then you fortify. You fortify. They have a lot of great people. Well... I wish you could capture great people. I know there's a mod for that, but I don't want to buy it. We'll buy a we'll buy a courser here. A course a cavalry, sorry. Because we have four of these guys, and then we have four coursers. We can make multiple cores out of these guys. And then when do I get the great general? I need to be able to faith buy him, I think. And then you're just gonna chop out that. We're doing we're gonna get an encampment training next turn, so it should be cheaper. I'm not making peace with you. How is Sapar positive loyalty? I don't understand that. That is uh it's just uh, it's just just Ten things science can't answer, quite honestly. But let's say that. let's finish off this guy. That's a course. That's a lot of damage and some error score. For now, though, let's go for let's actually beeline oil and then get the next cavalry unit because we are desperately gonna need it. Let's do that. Combustion. We'll get a library up there. Everybody else can just heal up, including you. You're gonna do that and plunder that because I like money. And then you're gonna go there and chop it out. We'll hit next turn. Okay, these last few cities should be easy to take, quite honest. Oh my God, that's a lot of. Wow! Okay, then. That's a lot of damage. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, we'll be able to buy another one, though, so I'm not really too worried about that. Let's get a Corsair. Uh, we'll be able to actually do Nationalism next turn. So, um, yeah, you're going to move up there. You're going to move there, and I'll promote you actually to charge, because I know this guy has Barding right over there. All right, uh, he actually has a very, very big military. I don't want to go for that yet because I want to wait till I get tanks. Once I get tanks, I'll be able to get all the entertainment complexes I need to be, like, terrified of man-at-arms for some reason. Uh, well, not some reason. The barbarians definitely suck in uh, barbarians and clans game mode. But there's a city of support. That's another city taken. We'll get a monument in the city of Kanye. I do miss the old Kanye. You're going to move there. And then there. And then you stay fortified. Make sure you can't do anything. You move up there. And then I'm not actually going to be able to buy another courser. So I'm not going to get a core. I'll hit next turn, though. Not yet, though. We got this core coming in. Perfect. I'll move on. We'll take these few cities. And then we'll move on to the Ottomans. I think the Ottomans... Oh, I'm hoping they actually joined the emergency against me. Korea did, though. Okay. Korea has no military strength. And they're too far away to do anything. But uh, it's the thought that counts. Right, guys? All right. Governor title here. We're just going to go for space initiative, I think think uh here now you could come there and fortify for more health you're gonna come there and promote to pursuit and then you're gonna move there and promote to mobility i guess it's fine yeah it's not really the best like cavalry units doesn't have the best third promotion but it's still something i guess remember we get more combat strength because of crusade so right now you can see we're at 75 that's gonna be 85 once we're in there not even counting the great generals so let's just hit next turn we'll, we can move in next turn i think yeah, this guy might take a while. Yeah, they only have 63 combat strength in some of these cities. There's refining. We're going to have to get artillery before we can get tanks. So that does kind of suck a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. No, what is that? Help. Help. Oh my god. Oh, disgusting. That is... Okay, we have... We need to get Suzerainty of Geneva right now. Or else we're just going to be completely eliminated. Look at this. Do we take the city in one turn? No. If we had enough... We might... Anyone? We were close. Damn. What's their combat strength? Oh, we'd be able to blitz the Ottomans so fast right now. Okay, take this guy out immediately. Good. I should have actually attacked this guy first. But I I'm just going to completely ignore that guy, quite honestly. Because if we just stay in his territory, Crusade is just too insane. We even have these cities converted because of our ability. And no one's been going for a religion this game. Which sucks and helps us at the same time. It sucks because we're not going to be able to use our unique ability, Taxis. Which gives us three combat strength for every holy city we have converted. Uh, but since they don't have one, we're going to be able to get, like, religion easily. Not only that, but also look at this. Uh, you're going to just get me a builder, I think. 
How much money are we making? Or we're making 46 faith from beliefs. That's insane. Here in a rook now, I think getting another spy is the best idea. It has really good production. Get me a monument. And then envoy-wise, we could go Fez. I just got to get suzerainty of Geneva, though, because, oh boy, do not want to get uh, war-canceled crime against them. Uh, you could pillage... No yeah, we... Oh my god, we literally take the city next turn. This guy's, like, healed enough, I guess. You can move in. We probably should have kept one Tagma, I think, just for, like, the great general bonus. Uh, yeah, that's my mistake, actually. It, we don't need it, you know, but it, it's, it still would have been nice. Let's finish off the, uh... Gilgamesh. I'm sorry, Gilgabra. I'm it's not you. It's me. I have to get this domination victory. I'm sorry. Four Corsairs and two regular cavalry, I think. I think that's all I have, right? I'm fairly certain. That's really all we need, I think. Uh nobody else needs Okay, let's go to just Vez. Wow, 25 gold. That's insane. Let's hit next turn now. Uh Korea has been targeted for a declaration of war by this Genevans. That's cool. I uh, will declare war. We were going to declare war anyways. Uh, the indomitable might of your empire and its 125 combat strength. That is uh, absolutely terrifying. I'm just pooping my pants right now. So let's move in. Yeah, they're already converted to my religion, so taking this should be like taking candy from a baby. Uh, okay, is that the Forbidden City? What is that wonder? I think that's Forbidden City, right? That's perfect. It's going to be another wild card policy slot. Uh, moving, how much movement speed do you have? Not a lot. So we can only attack with a number of guys this turn. Do you guys have... Okay, I think because this guy, you're going to move there, because then I'd be able to attack with all the cores. And then we literally eliminate this uh, walls, and nope, we almost eliminate this. No, we do eliminate the city. Okay, then, that's completely balanced and fair and reasonable. Uh, we'll now do this to get more money, I think. I do like money. So let's do that. We've eliminated two civs already. We're about to eliminate more, and again, every unit we kill... Uh, is just more science from us, which is really, really nice. So move in there. Just keep moving. Everybody who's, like, somewhat decent help. Like, look at all the movement speed, too. That's the insane part about this. This was Civ 5 when it first came out, and Cavalry could use Battering Rams. But this is insane, because you don't even need Battering Rams. I know Pillaging would probably be the best idea, but I'm just having too much fun just obliterating cities' walls right now. Watermill, or it doesn't even matter. We, we have so many cities right now that the population alone is more than enough to... Keep up our science and culture. Uh, let's hit next turn now. Let's keep going. They're going to move in their line infantry. I like that, actually, because we'd be able to convert their other cities. But first, let's... Okay, what we're going to do now, you're going to move there. You're going to move there. You're going to move there. And then you're going to attack. Attack. I think we take the city. No. I want to kill this guy, though. I think we can, anyways. Because you could pillage for health and then finish him off. Yeah, it's going to be another city of Bursa converted. We're going to then take the city of Adana. Then we're going to keep it. And then we're just going to move on to everything else. Let's do that. We literally take a city every turn, if possible. So let's move in the Corsairs down south. Yeah, this is just. Uh, this might actually be game over. That might be a GG well played. Uh, we're actually going to move this guy now to Guangzhou. Why Guangzhou? Well, because the Ottomans are pretty much broken. Really Really just China to worry about right now. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened. I think that's the city of Bursa, actually. Uh, I think I think Constantinople might be here, though. Or Ist Sorry, Istanbul. It's about to be Const... Ooh, it's not converted to my religion, actually. That's, um... Yep, neither is Trabzon. Alright, we're gonna have to move towards Ankara, then, because we don't get the combat, the walls. It doesn't even matter. Literally doesn't even matter. It doesn't, because they're... Oh my god, we're so strong right now. We don't even need our wall bonus. Wait, is it because of a COD? A COD is... No, no, it's only melee and anti-cavalry units for a COD. So a COD shouldn't be giving me that bonus. Okay, if you move there, you get attacked twice. That's fine. You're fine as well. You can move an attack there, and then... One, two, that's three. No, you can actually move. And then we can move this guy over there, and then the Great General there, and then we do a lot of damage like this. Oh, we actually take- Wow! What's going on, though? Why am I doing full damage to walls? Wait, am I doing full damage to walls? I do have that to Mononki. Hey, no, no, I'm not doing full damage to walls. Last time I did this, I completely eliminated a city, so, like, <laughs> this is- I don't even need my unique ability to finish the game off right now. Let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Istanbul, they're not going to do anything. No, they don't even kill anybody. I think we're going to get tanks and immediately send them to take Guangzhou after we take out China's capital. Because China shouldn't be too hard to take out, I don't think. So we're going to attack. You're going to attack. That's Istanbul now dead just completely. I uh, should be able to keep that city. And if you move there and then there, nine turns to rebellion. Like, they're not even going to last nine more turns, the Ottomans. Uh, where's the... Okay, this guy's going to move there and then form a core out of this guy. And then I think the rest of you who haven't attacked can move and attack Ankara, I think. 
Can we? Is it? Okay, it's a smart idea. Wow. That's insane. Absolutely preposterous right now what's going on. Uh, you're actually going to move and attack traps on, I think. <laughs> you literally half damaged the walls and they're not even converted to my religion. Holy crap. That is absolutely flabbergasting. You're going to do that. But I think that is the best idea. Blitz the Chinese capital. And then once we get tanks, we'll build a few of them and then send them to take Guangxi. They don't even have walls in Korea's capital. And that's all we really need, the Korean capital right now. Uh, okay, then let's, uh, let's go now. Let's do this. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There's economics. How many? Okay, the Ottomans still have a decent amount of cities. Well, not decent, but they have some cities still. Uh, you're going to attack. You're going to attack. And then you're also going to attack. City dies next turn. Here in Ankara now, you are... Hmm, could you move there now i'm gonna attack with you eliminate the walls you'll pillage for science get the tank do that and then production wise i need whatever it, it, hippodromes hippodromes they're called hippodromes arenas i need all of them i need to build a small tank force i think two to three should be enough with a few missionaries to convert korea's capital i think yeah you're gonna do that anybody else no i guess you can get an aqueduct why not and then everybody just, okay, re retire him then, and then you're going to go for combined arms. Do we have oil? Can we even see where oil is? Four sources. Where are they? One, two, oh, that's actually, they're all up there. Okay, but can I faith buy a settler? Can I, uh, how much for a settler? I don't think so. I can't even buy that tile, can I? All right, you're going to move up there then, and then one of these guys is just going to hard build a settler, I think. My capital, maybe? My capital could build one in six turn. How about Niani? How, how, how far? Six turns. We'll build a settler there. We'll settle on top of the oil. The builder's coming as well to help. Shut up, phone. Uh, it's just my Instagram. All right, then. Uh, first time I've gotten an Instagram text in about a year, though, so I am pretty happy right now. My Pretty damn excited right now. Let's go. Uh, but here in Trabzon, we're going to eliminate the city, and then we're immediately blitzing China. I, think. I don't even think we need tanks to take out Korea. Oh, wow. I completely forgot we're at war with Korea. That's, uh, that's, 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 that's gonna be weird. Let's attack with you. Good. And then the rest of you can just move down south. Bursa was already converted to our religion, but not anymore. I think that might actually be a two-shot. Do you have movement speed? Ah, oh, if we moved that courser down, we would have gotten it. But let's keep the city. Uh, you're gonna go for a granary, I guess. And then I think with you... I think we're actually gonna start moving these guys towards Korea's capital. And then we're even gonna send some apostles. We have so much faith right now enough apostles and we'd be able to convert their cities and then i'll just buy missionaries everywhere i can good and then i think that should be enough probably just in case though uh none of these guys have anything and then i'm gonna go convert that city and then i think we should be able to do it with just curse coursers uh you guys you're gonna finish off the city good we'll keep the city obviously and then you're gonna promote to barding production wise get me a monument Lit next turn, we're going to finally take out the last Ottoman Bastion, I guess. You're going to go there and get a promotion, and then we'll move on to China. Uh, yeah, you're going to go attack the city. I think that should be it. Wow, they still... Wow, I completely forgot they had another one. Did not look like they had another one, but they do. Uh, we also have oil over there if we decide to use it. I think I'm just going to fortify everybody else. And then you're good health, so you can actually move and attack the city this turn. Oh, yes. All right, Ottoman's already dead then. Uh, you actually do have a promotion as well, so move down there, and we'll promote you to Barding. Uh, you here, we're just going to go campus research grants, I think, and then you're going to move in like that, and we're going to wait. Translator, triple strength, that's good. Do we have the translator? That's fine still. We have two translator dudes, so that should be more than enough to convert, uh, at least for one turn. That's really all we need. Raise the city then. Uh, you're going to attack. Uh, you're going to move there. You're going to move there. And then wait. And then I don't think we need any more tanks. And then if we move there, we literally don't know where Beijing is. Well, that sucks. But uh, yeah, this guy should be enough to just... Yes. Yeah, we'll start landing. We'll start landing. We'll start landing everywhere. And then you can even move there. And then the tank, honestly, with that combat strength, should be more than enough to one-shot. Uh, I don't know where their units are, and by their units, I mean the uh, Korean units that were here. Uh, you're just going to move down south then, and then you're going to attack this guy. Let's hit next turn. They're going to try to pillage the trade route. I don't know if they will, though. Oh my god, we're about to end this series. Good. All right, there's that. There's that. And uh, if I move there... Okay, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. It just isn't. Um, I'm going to take the educated guests that they don't have walls in Beijing. If they do, I'll be able to upgrade these guys anyways. And I'm actually, actually I'm going to be able to upgrade them right now because I'm going to go for a professional army instead of, probably instead of town charters for now. You know what? We don't really need 
the science or culture right now, so we'll do that. Good, let's do, wait, what's elite forces? Completely didn't see that. So get 310, we'll be able to get at least one tank core, which should be enough. But uh, when can we move in the tank? We can actually move him in like now-ish, ish, approximately. So you're all going to move there. They all have Buddhism. I completely caught him by surprise. And then how long till we... That's four already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next city turns. It's converted. In fact, I'm just going to shift enter right now. And then we'll declare one China next turn as well. And that should be the game. Because I think that's all I need for a domination victory, right? Let's be... Okay, I don't need that. Let's go domination again. Three capitals. All I need is two more right now. So let's move everybody in. I really don't need to upgrade you, I don't think. Let's do this. Uh, China has a lot of military strength, though, so we do have to be careful. We do have a tank core, though, so that should be enough. Uh, good, if you move there. That's Shanghai. Ooh. Where is their capital? We just got to make a mad dash for that right now. They don't have walls anywhere, so I think we should be fine. They have armies, though. Uh, again, they don't have an answer for tanks. They really don't have an answer for tanks right now. So move through there. Attack the city. Uh, we'll attack Beijing right now. Beijing's 12 population as well, so we'll take that. Oh, boy, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Okay, we're going to have to keep the city, and then I think I can upgrade one of these guys in the next turn. Barely certain, and then we'll attack with the tank. That should be more than enough, I think. Let's just shift enter. Uh, cool. What happens? Okay, you're not going to be able to do a lot to me. Not a lot to my tank cores, especially after I actually get them. And then I think we're going to need more uh, apostles. Okay, we do get six combat strength, though. So as long as we could get crusade, I think we'd be okay. So fortify and then promote this tank guy. How long till you rebel? Two turns. It's fine. Uh, again, we have 105 combat strength right now. We literally one shot. Uh, I think, do we have air? Okay, we got to get airplanes, I think. We'll go flight into advanced flight. I think we're going to have to go just for biplanes, though. Okay, we'll take the city of Gyeongchao. That's there. Shut up, timer. That scared me. Oh, my God. All right, then there's space race. There's capitalism and nuclear. I really want to finish this game, though. Three turns to rebellion. We're going to have to move somebody like Magnus. Just make the city last as long as possible, I think. Um, you don't have a hippodrome. You can't build one? No. All right, then get that. Really doesn't matter, though. You're going to go there. You're going to actually range attack this guy, and then I think we're just going to... I just need Hippodromes right now. So everyone here, if you can, definitely build me a Hippodrome. Uh, you have one in Kanye, so I guess an encampment, maybe. It doesn't really matter. Uh, do that. I really want to finish this this video. Hmm, military Academy. Uh, you're going to go to Singapore right now. Okay, that's fine. You know what? You're all fine. Yeah, I'll go Diplo Visibility now. You're doing the same exact thing. Good. Uh, the rest of you, I'm actually going to make a move for Zion. Yes, everybody here, all my religious units get there in four turns. Wow. Yeah, we'll be able to convert Zion quickly, and then we can blitz the city. I could just get another tank, that's the thing. If you could upgrade to a tank in two turns, I'd love it. I don't think I can do it, though. What if I give... No, oh, that's not good. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that then. Go to uh, Singapore for the Envoy then. Uh, we'll just hit next turn, I think. We'll heal up. I think two should be more than enough. Okay, we even get a promotion here. That's fine. Th oh, I completely forgot I had this guy. Oh, I have this guy here too. That's perfect. Hey! Hey, that's actually perfect right now. Okay, so we have a lot more units than I thought we did. So you're going to move there. We'll promote you to Barding. You're going to now move over there, I think. You're going to fortify, and then we'll promote you to route and then you're going to you could literally one shot everything but you're going to stay fortified for now we'll go urbanization what the hell is that i have no idea um you know what we can actually keep moving with this guy there's no reason for me to keep him there oh we don't even need these guys because the more units we kill the more you guys we convert that's true completely forgot about that so stay asleep let's just shift enter if beijing dies it's fine we don't need beijing we just have to convert cyan it's really the last city we need to that's another promotion and probably another city converted ish Emergency's over right now. They have infantry, but they're going to do as much damage to them as they are to me. Uh, the barbarians I'm talking about. Not really barbarians, but still. Uh, so take him out. It's, uh, ooh, we're a little too far away to really do anything, I think, to um, Zion, which is a problem. But there is a lot of farms we could pillage for sure. You're going to promote now to route, and then we're just going to shift enter, I think, because these apostles are going to get here very, very quickly. Uh, we don't want to make peace. How long till... Uh, Young Zhao died. Oh, we definitely finished the game in that long. Okay, then. So, let's keep going right now. We have a lot of guys who are almost maximum healed. Uh, you're going to move there. That's a lot. Can you move here? Yes, you can. 
Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. Uh, we'll be able to convert the city next turn then. We don't do a lot of damage right now, but you're going to pillage. Uh, you're going to move then, and then you're going to move as well, and then you're also going to move. And then we'll just shift enter, because we convert Zion in the next turn. If they move any units, they're just going to die, I think. That's a lot of damage to the cap. Oh, no, never mind. It's only 29. Only 29. So you move there. Pillage to heal. You're going to move up there. You're going to use your last ability. There it is, Eastern Orthodoxy. That should be... That's perfect. Not perfect, but it's good enough right now, and that's all we really need. Uh, continue converting. We'll shift enter that. Uh, I said shift enter that. Zion, it's going to do... Yeah, it doesn't really do as much damage as you would think. Okay, if we just surround the city right now, it's really... Okay, that's the best idea. You move in there. Uh, okay, I don't know if we can... All right, that's a minor victory. Major victory. We'll promote you now to route. Uh, you're going to stay fortified and take a few hits. You're going to attack, and I think the city dies in the next turn. So that's eight people following Eastern Orthodoxy. Let's see what happens here now. Ooh, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's good. I think we take the city this turn. How long until this city rebels? That's one turn. Can we take? I want to take the city this turn. I think we do. Oh, yes, that's the domination victory. Yes, that is. That's it. I saw the lag. Perfect. One eye in 100. There it is. We've won a domination victory as Basil the second. Pretty fun game, not gonna lie. Byzantium's always one of the best civs to play. We absolutely obliterated this game, quite honestly. Uh, the only person we really didn't kill is Korea and a little bit of China, but we did take some of China's cities. That's really gonna be it. One more turn, though, because there is something I completely forgot to do. Let's see. We finally got our revenge after like 500 years. Joke, by the way, don't cancel me on Turkish tw Twitter, Constantinople. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Huge shout out to my members, Cash Christian, Ben Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Polaris Gaming, Jeff Utzler, Kim Cosmos, and a really special shout out to my Oh My God subscribers, Robert and Overflow of Amenities.